This is Dark Masic with Brutally Delicious, coming at you the review of Ensiferum's brand new album, Winter Storm. Okay, so I'm a longtime fan of Ensiferum. Their last album, Thalassic, was a regular mainstay in my playlist during the COVID era. I listened to it a whole lot on those long, lonely walks I would take at night when no one else was around. I've seen him a couple times, both in the States and on 70,000 Tons of Metal. My fingers are crossed that they're the next E that gets announced. So needless to say, I had some pretty high expectations. And with their former frontman, Yari Mainpa, releasing Time 2 a month ago, I was thinking, can they possibly put out anything competitive? And the answer is, holy shit, this is probably my favorite album by them. Halfway through the album, I had to stop picking out songs to talk about as highlights because there would have been far too many. What's perhaps most incredible is that it's not like the band switched gears and invented something brand new. It sounds like most of the stuff they've done previously, it's just better or as good and more consistent of an album. This actually felt like a greatest hits album, except I hadn't heard any of the songs before. As I said previously, it sounds like Ensiferum. It's the same kind of folk metal that has some adventure vibes to it. You know, pretty much everything you expect. Same style as Rum, Women, Victory, or Twilight Tavern. And with that, let's talk about the songs. The opening instrumental is everything I would have wanted out of them. It's folky and it makes me feel like I'm in Skyrim again. For those who don't play video games, that's like this medieval video game in a wintry world with swords and magic and dragons. It makes you think of that. Winterstorm Vigilantes, which is the first proper track, killer opening. It sounds like it could have preceded Twilight Tavern on From Afar or have come on Iron. It just sounds like the band is doing whatever it is they do, except that it's 23 years after the release of their first album, but they still sound inspired and kind of hungry, like they have something to prove. Long, cold winter of sorrow and strife. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Here's a great mid-tempo one. I can immediately see in my head the rope hits happening when the band plays this live. It made me want to go pillage a British village. Sorry for the rhyme there. It's kind of cliche, but the vibe this song gives off is like you're sailing the North Sea in anticipation of future glory. That could be said about a whole lot of Amana Marth and previous Ensiferum songs, but it still felt inspiring. Fatherland. Wow, three highlight tracks in a row. This is more classic Ensiferum, you know, their brand of metal. And it has the chant chorus, if you know what I mean from their previous songs, like Windrider, which is, it's not just the one lead singer, it's kind of this Viking chorus. More very strong Skyrim vibes, except they did it something like seven years before that game came out. Scars in my heart. Four songs in a row. What the shit? It's a beautiful ballad, but it's Ensiferum style. We have female vocals on this one, and there's a lot of emotional heft while still feeling like you're on a field of battle. It's not limping out like a lot of 80s bands did when they did ballads. It Maybe it's like the battle is finished and you're there mourning your fallen comrades. You're still like badass and got a sword in your hand, but you take a moment to appreciate or perhaps let out some sorrow that has been building inside for a while. That is the point when I stopped writing up thorough reviews of the songs because I would have just had way too much going on here. But I need to also point out The Howl, From Order to Chaos, and the closing track, Victorious, were also huge standouts. That's literally every song on the album, minus the little interludes. What? Okay, so easy album of the year contender here. I don't want to prematurely declare it, but off the top of my head, there's only like two or three that are even in contention right now. To put some things in perspective, I literally just got back from vacation with my group of best friends, so I was already pretty elated, and this just lifted me even higher. I'm seriously sitting here chuckling that it came out right after time two. I feel like Yari said, hey guys, top that, and they said, hold my beer. Awesome job, guys. You should do a co-headline tour throughout the U.S. We'd love to see it. Rock on.